Hi everybody, this is Leonard. Okay, I've been working on the uh, upper control arms. I got them in the Steyr Pook. And this would be the same as uh, Fiat 500 on the front end stuff. As you can see, by looking at the wheels, they're, they're, uh, they're uh, raked in at the top. And out at the bottom, I just did a, a string alignment on them. So, in other words, I'm going to set these wheels, instead of toe in, I'm going to set them in neutral position. So there's no toe because these are radial tires. Okay, so basically I cut this uh, upper control arm a half inch. And I have from the distance, I got this uh, angle on the bottom of the tire. And the top is 954 thousandths clearance. So now there is a measure right here. The distance between the top of the top of the tire and the and the and the rule and the angle right there, 954 thousandths, and I think the other side is 965, so they're within 10 thousandths. And uh, I'm not going to mess with it. That's that's pretty close. In order to adjust that, I would take the upper uh, uh, cross link, loosen it up, and put shims in there, and that will bring the tire out in a more neutral position. Right now, it's uh, it's. Uh, stuck in about an inch which I like I'm gonna do a little road test on it and see how it looks if I get down here low that give you an idea of what that thing looks like so it's raked in but when you get into a hard corner that tire is going to become very neutral and it's gonna have a lot of traction because these are pretty pretty wide tires on there these are uh, 175 50 series 13 Sumitamos and I have the Fiat 850 disc brakes in there cut down. Actually, you don't have to cut them down, but I cut them down so I could clear some 10-inch wheels if I wanted to run 10-inch. Stock suspension, nothing special other than uh, uh, the cross-link was altered. So it would be raised one inch on the cross-link it, itself. So that gives you one inch on the raise on the, on the cross-link and a half inch of material taken out of the control arms on both sides and that'll give you about an inch uh, camber on the wheel so so we're gonna we're gonna take it for a run and see how how that feels on the uh, out on the highway at 120 150 kilometers an hour ciao